guys, welcome. We are doing lesson 17 for phonics. So let's get busy. Let's share my screen with you. Let's get rid of some of these floating bars. All right, unit three, lesson 17. I can blend and segment words with the digraphs. O U, O I, O O, and A W. I can chain one syllable words. I can ask and answer questions about key details in the story, the fox and the grapes. So I'm going to say some incomplete sentences, each of which is missing its last word. The missing words contain the following sounds oo, u, ow, oil or ah. So you will raise your hand if you know the missing word. Once we've identified the correct word, we will repeat the word and its vowel sound. We will also find out how many sounds are in the missing word. The part of the body that you use to speak is your mouth. Great job, mouth. So how many sounds are in mouth? M, ow, th. You've got three sounds, m, ow, th. It has the ow sound, great job. The sound a pig makes is what? Oink. How many sounds is in oink? Oi, n, k. How many sounds is that? Three, three sounds for oink, great job. And it has the oi sound. The place where you can watch lions and elephants is called the zoo, right? Z, oo, how many sounds does it have? Two sounds and it has the oo sound. Awesome job guys. Food that has not been cooked is raw, has the ah sound. How many sounds is in raw? R, ah, two, two sounds, awesome. You have five toes on each foot, okay? It has the uh sound. How many sounds are in foot? F, uh, t. How many sounds is that? Three sounds. Great job. When water is extremely hot, it starts to bubble and, excuse me, boil. Okay, it's got the oil sound in the middle. So let's, how many sounds? B, oi, ol. How many sounds is that? Three sounds. Great. I drank my milk with a ah straw. It has the ah sound. So let's count out the sounds. S, tr, r, ah. Four sounds. Maybe. S, t, r, ah. Let's see. Yep. S, t, r, ah. Good. Babies cannot walk, but they can crawl. Great. And it's got the ah sound. So how many sounds are in crawl? K, r, a, u. How many sounds is that? Four sounds. Awesome job. A ball is not square, but round. Good, it's got the ow sound like in shout, okay? Round, so how many sounds are in round? R, ow, n, d. How many sounds is that? Four sounds, r, ow, n, d. Great job. In the library are a lot of books. Great job, it's got the uh sound like in look. How many sounds are in books? B, u, K, s should be four, four sounds, b, u, k, s, great. So large, char large card chaining, you will need the following cards for this activity, 
N T D C K S P B L R H J S H I A E E O O U O I N A W. So I'm going to stop sharing so you can see my chart behind me. All right. So we can chain. Sorry, my friends, I'm trying to get my book. Got tangled around everything on my desk. Okay, so let's start with our first word, spin, spin. How would you spell spin? S P I N, right? Spin, so you have spin. So let's make spin into spoon. What would we replace? We replace the I with the double O, and now we have spoon, right? Good. So what if I made spoon into soon? I would take out the P, and now I have soon. Good. What if I made soon into seen? How would I do that? I would take the O's out and add the double E, and now I have seen. Great. What if I wanted to make seen into seed? What do I need to do? Replace the N with what letter? A D. Great job. And now I have seed. Wonderful. Well, what if I wanted to make seed sad? How would I do that? I would replace the double E with the A, and now I have sad. So from sad, I want to make the word lad. What would I do? I would move the S and replace it with the L, and now I have lad. Good. From lad, I want to make the word loud. Loud. What makes Ow sound, O U. So we would re we would replace the A with the O U, and he has loud. What, if I make loud into cloud, what do I need to add? A C. Good. And now I have cloud. Awesome job. Now. Let me replace these and let's start over again. However, I'm gonna keep that OU because we're gonna make the word pout. P-O-U-T, pout, all right? So from pout, I wanna make the word out. How would I do that? Take off the P, right? Yep, so now I have out. So out, I wanna make the word shout. How would I make sh without? Add the SH, right? Shout. From shout, I want to make the word shoot. What makes the OO sound? Two O's. So I'm going to replace the OU with two O's, and now I have shoot. From shoot, I want to make the word loot. How would I do that? Take the SH off and replace it with the L, and now I have loot. Good. Well, what if I want to make loot into loop? What would I do? Take the T off and replace it with a P, and now I have loop. Great. So loop, let's make the word loon. Loon. Let's take the P off, and we'll replace it with the N, and now I have loon. Wonderful. So now let's make a new word, loon. Let's make it lawn, lawn. How would I do that? Hmm, well, I would replace the O. I would put an A down here, but I also need a W. Let me dig this out, our W, because they did not call for it, so I did not get it out this time. But apparently we need it. So lawn is spelled 
L-A-W-N, lawn. Good. So let's make the word loin. How would I make the oi sound in the middle? O-I. So we're going to replace the A and the W with an O-I. And now I have loin. What if I wanted to make loin into join? Take the L away and put a what? A J, and now I have join. Great job. Okay, so let's replace these letters. Second. Now I want to make the word seek. Seek. So we're going to start with S, E, E, and R, K. Seek. So seek, I want to make the word reek. What do I do? Take the S off and add an R, and now I have reek. Okay, from reek, I want to make the word creek. So what letter am I adding? A C to the beginning, and now I have creek. Great. So from creek, I want to make crook. So how would I make crook? What makes the uh sound? Take the E out and replace it with the double O, crook. Awesome. So if I can make crook, I can also make brook. How would I do that? Take the C off and replace it with a B. And now I have brook. Awesome. So from brook, I want to make a smaller word, book. So what would I do? Take out the R, push in the B, and now I have book. Good. From book, let's make a new word, cook. So I would replace the B with a C, and now I have cook. Awesome. Well, if I can make cook, I can also make hook. I can replace the C with an H, and now I have hook. What if I wanted to make the word hawk? Hawk. What makes the ah sound? We know it has to have an A and a W, hawk. H-A-W-K spells hawk. Awesome. All right, so let me replace these back up here. Okay, so let me go back to sharing my screen. All right, let's get rid of that bar again. Now let's go back to present mode. All right, so we did some large card chaining with spin, spoon, scene, seed, sad, lad, loud, and cloud. We did chaining to pout, out, shout, loot, loop, loon, lawn, moin, and join. And then we did seek, reek, creek, crook, brook, book, cook, hook, and hawk. So we chained all of those words, which we did an awesome job. So worksheet 17.1, let's look at it. Actually, I think this Right here is our worksheet. Yep, 17.1. Okay, here we go again. We just did some of these the last time. All right. And it's the sounds and you have to circle them. You have to write the number down. Okay, you've got one through 16 to do. I will help you do the first six, okay? The first six. So let me move my board here. Let me write these words down. So cook has already been done for you and notice the C is circled, the double O is circled together and the K, so you have three sounds for cook. Now we've got the word cloud, we have the word lawn. We have the word point. We have the word sleep. 
and spoon. All right, so let me stop sharing so you can see this. All right, so cloud. Let's look how many sounds does it have? Cloud. How many sounds is that? Four. Okay, so now let's do lawn. La, on. How many sounds? Three. Point. P, oi, n, t. How many sounds? Four. Sleep. S, la, e, p. How many sounds? Four. Spoon. S, p, u, n. How many sounds? Four. Remember, you also have to write them out here to the side of them also. But guys, make sure you circle the sounds and you write down the number of sounds, okay? That is part of it. All right. So I am going to move back into our lesson. All right. So now we're going to read the fox and the grapes. Our spelling preview for tricky words is from and my. We have owl as in ground and sour. We have the oo as in full and look and good and stood. So let's preview some vocabulary. We have the word ripe. Ripe. Ripe means that it's ready to be eaten. It's juicy and it's sweet. Our next word is full. Full is someone who is silly. An extreme sour, that means it is sharp or tart tasting. It's like a lemon. So we're gonna read to find out what a fox thinks about some grapes he finds. So let's go to our story over here. The fox and the grapes. A fox saw a bunch of ripe grapes that hung from the branch of a tree. The fox said, those grapes look good. I will get them and make them my lunch. The fox stood up on his back legs, but he could not grab the grapes. The fox made a hop, but he could not grab the grapes. The fox ran and made a big jump, but he still could not get the grapes. At last, the fox sat down on the ground. What a fool I am, said the fox. I can tell that those grapes are sour. They would not have made a good lunch. Okay. So, where's my mouse? There it is. At the beginning of the story, what does the fox decide he would like to eat for lunch? Grapes. Awesome. How does the fox describe the grapes at the beginning of the story? Well, if we have to go back to the beginning of our story, let's look here. He saw a bunch of ripe grapes that hung from a tree. He said those grapes looked good. So how did he describe them? He said they looked good, right? Okay. What does the fox do to try to get the grapes? Doesn't he jump? Then he runs and jumps and he tries to stand on his back legs, right? But does he ever get the grapes? No, he does not. How do you think the fox feels when he's not able to reach the grapes? He looks exhausted, doesn't he? He's thinking, well, this isn't worth it, is it? So do you think the fox really thinks the grapes are sour? No, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, bless me. No. Why do you think he said they were sour? Do you think maybe because he was so tired 
And he was just like, oh, it's not even worth it. Yep. So 17.2. If we go to 17.2 over here, you have a reading of the dog and the ox where you can practice reading this story at home, okay? Let me get rid of this bar again. It just likes to show up. So I can blend and segment words with the vowel digraphs, ow, oi, u, uh, and ah. I can chain one syllable words, and I can ask and answer questions about key details in the story, the fox and the grapes. So let me stop sharing again. All right, guys, that is the end of this lesson, and I will see you back here tomorrow.